Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, child. Wait, 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 wait. Ay! Hi guys, it's Ali. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another hair review for you guys. So if you want to know the tea on the unit that I'm about to talk about, then go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get started with this video, all the sort of stuff about the hair would have been filmed in my initial video, so I will leave a link in the description box down below so you guys can kind of see how the hair was like when I got it out of the box, all of that fun stuff there. In that video, I didn't actually install the unit, so we will be talking about the installation and stuff in this video, so if you want to know about the hair and the unboxing and how it looked, link in the description box down below, then come back. If not, stay we're gonna refresh ourselves on what the unit and the stats are so this is a 22 inch wig it's 150 percent density the hair color is natural black and it is a 22 and a half inch cap which is medium and the lace it says top swiss lace which is supposed to be undetectable so this is supposed to be the best lace that they offer and you know i mean she cute or whatever but i think the premise of the lace when i bought it was that it was like hd undetectable that kind of thing so we're just going to sort of review that see how it looks how it blends all of that stuff and my experience with the wig itself it's supposed to come with the pre-plucked hairline and pre-bleached knots and honestly as far as the knots go i don't even know if you guys can see it now i think the knots don't take to bleach as well as i'd like because even though it says it was pre-bleached I did go ahead and bleach it afterwards myself and i can still see knots all up in here as far as the knots go don't know about that the hairline itself i don't remember having any difficulties plucking the hairline i did pluck the hairline myself to get it to look a little bit more natural than how it was when they sent it to me so i did sort of go in and pluck it further if you guys want to see how it looks after i've plucked it i'm not really going to show you guys like right now because it's like it's glued down and some of the hair is glued into where the hairline is and i don't really feel like you know trying to mess with all of that but i do have a video where my hair is pinned up and curled so you can see what this unit looks like you know pinned up curled and in action and everything like that so i will leave a link to that video in the description box down below i'll also insert a photo somewhere on this page as to what this hair looks like curly and it does hold a curl very well i was very surprised honestly it looks gorgeous curled and the curls stayed there for a very long time so i ended up paying 251 dollars and 26 cents however the wig itself is 371 dollars on the love me website i had a discount code that i used to get some money off because you know i don't really like paying for stuff too much you know what I mean? In the initial video that I did, I didn't install the unit for you guys because I already had a unit in my head and I was in the States at the time. So, you know, installing the wig with the resources that I had wasn't on the forefront of my mind. I wanted to come home, bleach the knots, pluck it, cut the lace properly, etc. Speaking of the lace, it does have these um, stringy parts that I forgot to cut off. But it does do that though. It does have these strings that randomly like stay on your on the lace that's something to note but this obviously was a year ago so love me could have very much changed the lace today i have no idea i do have other units from them and i do have other videos links will be in the description box down below i just haven't bought another undetectable lace wig and i'll tell you why that is i feel like for the price that i pay for a love me undetectable lace i can get hd lace around the same price and that i can guarantee is going to be like actual genuine hd HD lace that I can sort of blend into my skin. This lace isn't bad at all, honestly. Honestly, this lace isn't bad. This is probably one of my favorite lace units that I have when I compare it to my Swiss lace units. This is what the lace is looking like right now. I did tint it slightly too dark, but I think the bronzer on my face makes it okay. But I think if I were to take my makeup off, this color would look slightly off love me hair is fairly affordable in terms of good quality hair it's definitely more expensive than aliexpress but it's also better quality than aliexpress so that's something that people shouldn't confuse i know there are some companies on aliexpress that do decent hair but aliexpress is definitely hit or miss even if you are using the same company like my volley's virgo hair review video i had people in the comments talking about how they swear by volley's virgo hair that's the only company they buy from aliexpress and they always get good units from them but for me personally that wasn't it i'm gonna go ahead and just sort of 
flat iron and straighten this hair at the same time as I'm talking just so like you know I'm doing something and I haven't flat ironed this hair this is how it looks blow-dried so as you guys can see the hair still has a fairly decent sheen to it it's still really really soft and it doesn't tangle but as you can see it's still like fluffy because I haven't flat ironed it yet but we're getting there we're getting there going in with a heat protective spray first and I'll brush it to distribute as you guys can see a brush it still goes through this fairly easy I haven't really had too many concerns or problems with this unit over the year that I've had it and I've worn it quite a few times but maybe because I don't wear it every day is how I've managed to have it for a year so I'm just going to take this hot comb and flatten out the top because I hate having a middle parting and the back is sort of like bumped so this is how the hair sits when you sort of hot comb it and oh that is one thing so when I did first install the hair it doesn't lay flat so you definitely need a hot comb because a flat iron won't deal with the top of it for you i'll show you guys pictures of what i mean when i first had it in my hair you can see this bump in the hair and it frustrated me for the longest time and when i got my hot comb like look at the difference in the sides you guys as you guys can see it's raised here but it's not as raised as it would be as you guys can see there is product in the hair so i did just use my hair by shop a wax stick so that is the product that you guys can see here i'm just going to flatten that down because i hate when my units are not flat i also use the hair by shop a lace glue as well and the issue that i was telling you guys about before with the bump at the top here it does that when you wash it it redoes that so it's a matter of you know every time that you wash it and try and reinstall it that is a situation that you do have to take care of i'm just going to show you guys the amount of shedding that i have on my leg when i first got the wig it didn't really shed much at all i didn't have any issues with shedding the same was the case for after i had bleached the knot myself a little bit further but just brushing it there this is the hair that I've got so those are the hairs that have fallen out so the hair that sheds obviously over time it causes the wig to thin out a little bit so the wig is slightly thinner than when I got it but it's not too thin to the point where I don't want to wear it on it anymore or where it doesn't look good as you guys can see if I lean back like this the hair doesn't look super thin or anything you can't see gaps you know behind my neck or anything like that now I've got my paddle brush and my flat iron this isn't what I normally do but your girl couldn't find a rat tail comb and that sound that you heard was actually my earring so if you thought that you right so this is how the hair flat irons look at that okay i'm gonna just bounce it so you guys can see you know this is what all the hair people do so you can see how shiny the hair is and whatnot this is rough flat flat ironing though i normally take longer but just because, you know, I ain't trying to sit here all day and do a whole hair video for you. So this is what half looks like and this is the half without the straightener. And I'm going to go ahead and just quickly, but carefully, do the other side. The hair still looks good. And this is after a year of curling, of washing, of manipulating. The only things that I can note that are you know different are obviously it's not as dense as it used to be but that's because it's been shedding but not like super excessively and the one last thing that I do want to show you guys about this hair that I've noticed is the ends so this is what the ends look like they are dead frazzled look at those those are what the ends look like but honestly I would just recommend trimming it I just haven't gotten round to doing it but those ends are long gone and I feel like if I don't trim them it's definitely going to affect the longevity of this wig it might last less time and I'll just stand up to show you guys what 22 inches looks like on me so this is 
where it stops it's like pretty much just above my belly button and I am five foot three and this is how the hair looks with just a wax stick and heat protectant spray in it for product I think it looks slayed and laid and you know still luscious do I think the wig was worth the money definitely if I compare this unit to how many Aliexpress units I've had and how long they've lasted this is definitely lasted longer than those it costed about double what they cost but an Aliexpress wig can last you like two months before it's like uh uh we ain't doing this no more we ain't doing this no more so this the fact that it still looks this good and this bouncy and this fluffy and this oh Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, chat. Wait, 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 wait. I... The fact that it still looks like this, unbeatable, unmatched. I don't even know. I don't know what you're talking about. Love me hair. I still think I'm going to be a customer of theirs. I have three units from them right now. Might have to revisit this HD lace, but I feel like it's extra money for no reason. Their Swiss lace is good enough. Like, that lace is good enough. You don't need to get this lace. The other lace is good enough. I'm telling you, you can tint it, you can blend it. It's fine, it's thin, it's... You don't need this lace. You don't need it. So that is pretty much all I have to say for the update. If I've missed anything out and you guys do have more questions about the hair, then please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Like, comment, share, do all the fun stuff. It helps my channel out a lot. I'll see you guys in my next video.